Hello there, I'm Styron, and I'm here to show you how to win the Guardian Druid Mage Tower Challenge in WoW Dragonflight. Let's start by looking at talents. I've put the talent tree below, and it's in the description too. About gear, it changes to 120 item level in the Mage Tower. I've done the Mage Tower with a level 60 character in simple gear and no consumables, but if you like using extra items, I have a list of good ones to help you. If you don't want to spend a lot of time on the Mage Tower Challenge, there's an easy way for you. Conquestcapped.com This is a safe and trusted WoW boosting service with a 5-star rating on Trustpilot. They can do any Mage Tower Challenge for any class and specialization in just 15 minutes, with no risk and without account sharing. You can find more details in the description. Use my code STYRONYT for an additional 10% discount. Now let's talk about the first part of the challenge. You will meet Inquisitor Varus. He has a special attack, Aura of Decay. You can beat it by using Moonkin Form and Moonkin Abilities for ranged attack. He has two more attacks, Mind Rend, which does a little damage, and Drain Life, which you must stop to keep the boss from healing completely. Be ready for Nether Horrors, and use Incapacitating Roar to stop them. When they appear, use Barkskin and Moonfire to protect Velen. Eyes will appear too, so look at them while they focus on you. Moonfire can beat them. In the last part, the Inquisitor will call Smoldering Infernals. Move out of the way, use Skull Bash or Wild Charge to avoid their attacks. They can push you off the edge. Remember, Infernals never really die, so attack the boss and use Moonfire on them. Next, the second part is tough. Save all your attack boosts, potions, and drums for this. If done right, this part should only last about one minute. The enemies from part one will keep appearing in part two, so you have to fight them and Cruel at the same time. Cruel has three attacks, Annihilate, Nether Stomp, and Twisted Reflection. Annihilate increases damage with each stack. You can take around three to five stacks based on your defense boosts. Use Velen's Holy Orbs and Mighty Bash to delay Annihilate. Move quickly out of Nether Stomp's fire. Twisted Reflection must be stopped with Skull Bash. It can make the boss heal a lot and ruin the game, but you can use Holy Orbs to remove it if needed. That's all you have to know to win this challenge. Not that hard, right? And if you want your cool Fel Werebear form quickly, Conquest Capped can help. Check the link in the description.